It's just like fingerprints, okay? <laughs> now, um, explain, if you could, how we know the composition of this right. thing. So we can figure out composition of a plume of gas uh, by um, taking a spectrum of it, which means um, you basically have some kind of a prism that breaks, uh, you know, that uh, a, a light with different wavelengths is bent at different angles. And so you spread the light into the different colors. And if you do that, you, you can find the uh, fingerprints, the spectral fingerprints of specific atoms or molecules, because each atom or molecule has transitions. So this is a very well-known thing, and we know the, the wavelengths of those, and, and we use them to identify the composition. Uh, you know, we know which atoms produce these spectral lines, the fingerprints. It's just like fingerprints, okay? And, and so what was found, you know, and that's by multiple teams, there are three papers on that, we found nickel, a lot of nickel, but not, very little iron. At first, no iron whatsoever. Now, usually in all the comets in the past, from the solar system and also from interstellar space, there is one comet, Borisov, that was found. It's the second interstellar object, which looked just like a familiar comet. It looked like a comet, behaved like a comet. It was a comet, but it had similar abundances of nickel and iron. The only place where we found before much more nickel than iron is in alloys that we produce industrially. So uh, maybe the skin of this object is, is industrially produced. That's, that was my suggestion.